My name is Steve from Flipping the Nerd, and this is a not really contest entry for Ruby Songbird's 100 subscriber giveaway. The reason it's not really a contest entry is I am actually not allowed to enter this contest because, unfortunately, and I totally get it, trust me, I totally get it, uh, the contest is only open to U.S. residents, and I am a Canuck, a Canadian. I live upstairs from the party that is downstairs. Um, but the shipping is so expensive. Like I, the, I opened my contest to everyone because if I didn't, there'd be nobody that would enter them. Uh, I don't think I... I have like three that I know of subscribers that are, that are active and like talk to me and stuff that are Canadian. So it would be very small giveaways I would be doing if I only opened it to Canada. So I opened it to the US and I know how expensive it is. So I totally get it. But as I told her, I'm going to do a video anyway because I want to support her channel and I want people to know about this channel and know about this person and know about this art that she's creating because it is friggin' awesome and it deserves to be out there and it deserves to be talked about and shown. And hopefully this will get her some more subscribers which will lead to more entries to her giveaway, um, which she's going to do an original piece of art for you, which is, whew, like, the coolest. So, this is for Ruby Songbird's 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, there are, you know, I'll put all her information below, her channel, her contest entry uh, video. So, there are two ways to enter. You can write in the comments... Uh, let's see, answer in the comments. Okay, well, you can answer the same questions in the comments or make a video. Of course, I'm making a video. Uh, she says, okay, so the first question. Tell me suggestions for my channel and what kind of videos you'd like to see uh, on her channel and stuff. So, for me, simple, I would like to see videos of her making her awesome art. I am pretty much the worst hand artist in the world. Like, my art teacher in college, set, no, in, it was in high school, I'm sorry. In high school, set me aside and said, Steve, you are passionate about art. You're going to make a great filmmaker one day, because I want to go to film school. But for God's sakes, stay away from clay building, because you are legit the worst. <laughs> like, I made just the worst piece. I'm still going to pass you, Steve, because you came to every class, you were active in a class... But please, stay away from Clay. <laughs> he, I actually got told that by a teacher. Now, I went to college, and of course, I <laughs> I took Clay Building because I had to redeem myself. I made something I thought was pretty cool, but uh, it's not my thing. I'm just not good doing that kind of art. I'm more of the mind film type of art type of guy. So uh, I would love to see how you make your art uh, and so so awesome. Question number two, what are, let me know your favorite fandom, character, book, movie, TV show, etc. So, <clears throat> for me, I'm going to put three fandoms, I just like things in threes. Uh, the one thing I'm a fan of, outside of those threes, that I would, I don't have anything of, really, except for one action figure, is Galactus from Marvel. I'm going to put a picture up, I'm going to put pictures up for these fandoms. So Galactus from Marvel... Uh, it's my favorite Marvel character, but there's like nothing out there other than comic books uh, with him on it. Very, very hard to find. If I had Bobo's, which I'm not allowed either, because I'm Canadian, no love for Canada, uh, I would put Galactus front and center because I just can't find anything other than comic books and <clears throat> that one figure that I have. Uh, so I would ask, you know, it'd be cool to have a Galactus painting. Outside of that, the three fandoms that are my biggest right now, uh, number one, horror, of course. I mean, look at my background. I just love horror, and I love horror art. In fact, now, if you watch my video, this is usually the framing I have. You can see the autographs. You can see some stuff on the side. Well, move it a little bit here. Whoop. Okay, this sign is from... Actually, I'll just take it off. This awesome sign is from Ruby. So welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. 
So I do have some art visible in my shot. Unfortunately, what you often don't see, just a little bit higher, I actually have other art from Miss Ruby. You have Jason Voorhees up there. You have the Elm Street sign up there. You have Freddy Krueger up here. And the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, canvas up there. All courtesy of her old subscription box. So I am an owner, and I'm very proud of it, of her artwork. Um, I will eventually try to buy more off Etsy, probably. But uh, so at least I have that. I'm a big horror fan. I'm looking to fill my other wall, actually, which is now bare. Maybe fill in more of this wall. So that kind of stuff. So that's definitely a big thing. I just love horror and everything horror related. Uh, my second one, and I'm going to put pictures, is The Office. <clears throat> I am a huge fan of the TV show The Office, the American version. My office that's in my basement is completely office themed. There's a picture in there somewhere of that. I have all the bobbleheads. I have uh, an autographed poster with uh, most of the cast that had signed it. I got original art, uh, all sorts of stuff. Just love The Office. So that's a huge one for me as well. And I would love to get art for that. Um, and finally, um, The Haunted Mansion. My bedroom is completely Haunted Mansionized. Uh, I'm going to make... Well, I'm going to f release a video soonish of what my room looks like in entirety. But here are a couple sneak peeks. A couple pictures I took um, this afternoon just to show you kind of what of the stuff I have in there as a sneak peek, but I will do a full reveal at some point. Uh, the Haunted Mansion, I don't know, it's just something that me and my wife are absolutely crazy of, so much so that we want to see it when we wake up and when we go to bed at night, so that is definitely a huge fandom, and to have an original piece would be friggin' awesome of The Haunted Mansion. So that's it. Those are my three fandoms, The Haunted Mansion, The Office, and Horror. Very cool. So like I said, please go to Ruby Songbird's uh, channel. She's such a cool uh, woman. Just very, very down to earth. Extremely talented. Um, and you know what? It sucks because I can't... I, well, no, I didn't meet her, but I... Like, I think I talked to her for the first time, well, by chat, a couple months after Halloween Horror Nights this year. Maybe even a month after Halloween Horror Nights on a hangout. And had I known right before, we actually went to Halloween Horror Nights at the same time last year. We were in the park at the same time. So we're actually both going again this year. Hopefully we'll be able to meet up this time with a couple other YouTubers. That would be awesome. Just a really cool girl. Just go check out her channel. It speaks for itself. Just go check out her art. It speaks for itself. So uh, all the links are below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the flip side.